What's up everybody? It is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel. And make sure you tell your alliance about the channel because I promise you one thing. They will get better from all the guides and strategies we have on here. There's a playlist with like over 50 videos and I know I have over 100 that will help everybody get better at the game. So make sure you tell them about that. So guys, I wanted to go ahead and give you a schedule for, the, uh, for this week because this is a big week in Clash of Kings. As you know, we have the... Um, all the big events are this week. That are, they're bi-weekly events. But before I get into that, I want to let you guys know that I have seen all of your tweets and messages about the canceling the dragon campaign and about how that 300 gold really hurt you guys this week because you use that gold to stay shielded all week and to keep your alliance safe. So I'm doing the best that I can to campaign for you guys and try to get you guys at least a couple thousand gold. Whatever the minimum prize is uh, for the dragon campaign, I'm trying to get you at least that. I think it's like one or two thousand gold. So hopefully we can get that for you guys so you guys can stay safe, stay shielded, and stay away from the bullies. So I, look, I just got 10 free badges. That's pretty awesome. So, to start this week off, to start off War Week, as I like to call it, uh, we've got the Ancient Battlefield in one day, 16 hours. So, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, we'll be doing an Ancient Battlefield live stream. That should go on for at least a few hours. Should be a great time. Uh, we usually do it every other week. Um, Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the Dragon Campaign live stream. And uh, I'm pretty sure they got it fixed by now. <laughs> I really hope they do. Let's check it again. Click it again. Okay, it's not showing anything, but I think the sign-up starts on Tuesday. So, that should be at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If it's canceled, I will let you guys know in a video. And then on Saturday, my favorite of the favorites is the Kingdom Conquest live stream. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That should go on for at least... Last week, it went on for like 3 or 4 hours. I don't expect it to go any less than 3 or 4 hours this week as well. And if there's enough to kill, we'll go all night. I do not care. I want to get you guys as much content as possible. Hopefully, it's a kingdom that, you know, has a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that we can kill. And um, I've got some new tricks up my sleeve, guys, involving the dual skill. And involving my, my equipment setup. And I'll be showing you that um, probably Wednesday when we go to the Ancient Battlefield. So make sure you guys come for that as well. And uh, yeah, that's just what I wanted to do in this video was give you guys an update and let you guys know about basically where the channel is because you know on my Clash Royale videos I get a couple of you guys commenting like oh I'm gonna leave. I want more Clash of Kings. Listen Everyone here can can vouch for me. I've done daily Clash of Kings videos every single day for months and months and months and Two days ago when I missed a video because uh, I wasn't feeling well and I didn't do any videos that night um I went ahead and uploaded two videos yesterday, so that way I made up for the video that I missed. So, understand this, all videos are labeled Clash of Kings, Clash Royale, Agario, whatever the game may be, and I'm going to be playing way more games than just this, guys. If I want to grow on YouTube, I have to expand into other games. Clash Royale has YouTubers with 2 million to 2.5 million subscribers. Clash of Kings, Bowsy's got 16,000. Okay, so if I ever want to grow bigger than that, then I'm going to have to get out into other games. So I hope that you understand that. Um, I hope that you're not going to be selfish and get mad when I post other games. They're clearly marked. They clearly have a thumbnail. And it'll say what game it is. So you can just click the game that you want. Some of you are really cool and you'll even click the game that you don't like. A lot of you guys that don't even play Clash Royale, you still come to the or you still come to the live streams for Clash Royale. You still hit the like button for the videos on Clash Royale. Leave a nice comment, and that really helps me a lot, and it means a lot, and it makes me feel good. But when I see people go to the videos and leave, you know, negative comments like that, and then when I call you out and you say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to see more Clash of Kings." Okay, I understand if you want to see more Clash of Kings. I wish Clash of Kings had events like Clash Royale and tournaments like Clash Royale where I could do a stream and a video every single day and interact with you guys and play with you guys. But we're all in different kingdoms and there's no setup on Clash Royale where I wish I could, you know, pay 5,000 gold in Clash, Clash of Kings and we could do 50 on 50 dragon campaigns, subscriber dragon campaigns. I'm asking them to do it. I'm asking them to set up private dragon campaign events where you can just set up 50 on 50. We'll set up even teams and just have a ball, man. I'll run out the dragon campaign every single day if they'll let me do it. I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying to come up with ideas to make it where we can have a lot of fun together. So please understand me when I say this. I'm doing my best. There's only so much I can post, you know. I could come on here every day and come up with some bullcrap video, um... 
and to be honest some days i do that i come up just whatever i can think of just come up with some video for you guys i try to make it either educational or entertaining and it's getting very hard to come up with entertaining content but if i can uh hopefully this two to five man team event comes out and we can start doing two to five man tournaments where everyone comes with a partner a teammate and then we have a tournament or we could set up even teams in the dragon campaign and uh we'll just set it up to where you know it either randomly picks us by power and prestige level or we can um select teams and put everyone on a roster so i really hope they let us do that i would gladly pay five ten whatever amount of gold it would cost i would do it they should honestly let me do it for free since i'm uh basically promoting the game every single day for free for them but it's the number one thing i'm working on with them right now um, I've been working on it for weeks and weeks and weeks, begging them to do it. I, I think they just got to basically figure out if they can, like, set aside the server space to allow that. Now, if someone's going to be paying good money to make this happen, I think they there shouldn't be any problem doing it. There should be a moderator that creates it, and then I can give all you guys the password, and then we can set up the teams. I'll look at everyone's castle level and power, and we'll set up the teams, we'll set up a date, and we could do it every single day. It would be the... It would bring this game back to life, I'll tell you that right now. Where friends can interact from different kingdoms, that's what's missing in this game. Yeah, you could randomly get matched up in the Dragon Campaign, you can randomly get matched up in the Kingdom Conquest, but you cannot set a day and set a you know an event to where you guys can all play together. And that's what it's missing, and that's what it's going to have to get if it wants to get into the same league. If it wants to even breathe the same air as a Clash Royale, a Vainglory, one of these premier esports organization type games so you know it'd be really cool and then you know they could even do tournaments and stuff where you know you could set up like uh even if you set up say 20 man teams for the dragon campaign that's plenty of people to take care of the buildings that there are and would leave a couple people to roam and do whatever they want so guys we're probably going to do a campaign if i can't get the go if they don't give me an answer on it soon we're going to do another campaign that listen we want private tournaments we want private um dragon campaign events we want actual tournaments where you know i'm i'm also been lobbying for a nation's cup of the dragon campaign or some form of an event where it's like a nation's cup you know china versus the usa brazil versus turkey all these countries um you get the best castles from each country not only would would you want to be in it like i would want to be in it even i guarantee i'm probably not i might be one of the bigger american castles but i should just have an honorary spot just because of uh promoting it myself but hopefully we can get that together guys i'm trying to do so many things to better the game but if they don't listen to me they don't listen to me and if they don't then i promise you this i'll have to find other games that entertain me because i'm not just going to sit here and bore myself to death with something that i feel is going in the wrong direction and isn't as fun as it used to be so bear with me guys i promise i'm doing the best i can those of you that have been here for a long time that support me, you know what I'm talking about. Let them know in the comment section down below. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, hit the uh, picture that's popping up on the screen right now. Um, if you want to get into a giveaway and check out um, a cool sponsored video I did, click that link of the video that's showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember that teamwork makes dream work. Support each other. So uh, Hopefully we'll grow as Clash of Kings community. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and thanks for understanding. Bye.